Wow, we picked up some great things. We're a husband and wife team, thrifting and picking. Sometimes we find the unusual, but if there's a profit to be made, we'll take it. And sometimes we just get darn lucky. So I hope you'll relax with us at some of our favorite places to visit. The treasures are just waiting to be found. On our way to Uniontown Antique Mall. Yes, and then we're gonna go to Hartville and breeze through there and see how much treasure we can get within two hours. Speed buying. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be speed, I like that. That's a good one. Uh -huh. We're gonna be speed buying. Which is locked, fasten your seat belts, it's gonna be a bumpy run. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. He's witty, isn't he? Okay. I'm not finished. I'm sorry. I hit the button early. He cut the video off too early. You gotta talk faster than that. You okay. gotta catch up. Let's go ahead and see what treasures. Oh, this traffic stops really fast. Let's see what treasures we can find. Hang on, everybody. Here we go. Um, Marty just got a kaching. Ooh, a helmet for $135. We'll take it. While we were pulling into the antique mall, and unfortunately, it looks like they are closed. Oh. Yep, they are closed on Wednesday. Okay. We'll have to go another day. Let's go on down to Hartville and see what we can find. We have a lot of fun with these videos, but once inside the store, it's down to business. So sit back and relax as we treasure hunt, go over our haul, totals that include how much we paid and the estimated list price, then relax with us at the end. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate all of our subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. So I was surprised to see that there were four carts sitting here. On the bottom, I find this electronic book. Um, I didn't buy it because the money wasn't there, but later on I saw someone in their cart in the checkout with it. So it went to a good home. Uh, what I do pick up is an iOmega zip drive. Uh, this should do pretty well for us. I started off in the uh, jewelry section, but didn't see anything I had to have. So right next door is this uh, shoe section. So one of the first things I saw was this pair of Michael Kors heels. And I went ahead and got these because of the block hill, the penny loafer style, and uh, which seems to be on trend right now. And they were $5. The comps looked Soul comps looked very, very good on those. So I went ahead and put them in the cart. Next, I, I picked up and put in the cart this pair of Dingo boots. I thought I had a 20% coupon, but I didn't quite have a, enough stamps on that. So at the checkout, I ended up putting those back. And then I uh, ran across this uh, Brighton bag. Their bags were a little, um, they didn't have a whole lot to choose from today, but this one I did pick up. I, I thought it was cute. Um, it's smaller in size. Uh, it has a lot going for it. It's a shoulder bag, um, leather, and uh, so I, I went ahead and picked that up for $4. You can't beat the price on that. Let's go ahead and see what Marty's doing. Walking up the aisle in the china and glassware, I spot this fish plate. Uh, this, the value of this fish plate really surprised me. This is by Studio Nova. So I check it for chips and then put it into the cart. And a few more steps up the aisle, I spot some gold encrusted Tiffin plates. These have been a long time favorite of Debbie's. So I sort through them because there was three of them that were pretty worn and I hide them in the bottom of my cart to surprise Debbie with later. After I looked at the shoes, I went over to the fine, what they call the fine art. And I love old vintage antique frames, but let me tell you, they wanted, I believe it was either 75 or $95 for those frames. And those are absolutely not thrift store prices. These are actually near retail prices. I'll put some examples on the screen. You'll see this print later on in the video again. 
I walked over to the textile area, found these satin pillowcases, uh, very much on trend right now, and I like the color of these. I may keep these or I may sell them. I haven't decided yet, but I went ahead and put those in my cart. Next, um, I felt this, this silk piece and realized it was a scarf. A lot of these do have names in the corners. Uh, be sure to uh, take a look for those. This is an Echo silk scarf, and it does say tribal beads. I love the bright, vibrant colors on this, and I went ahead and put that in my cart. Um, they have a large textile area here, and I am looking for a square tablecloth for my sunroom as we start to eat meals out there. This was a vintage um, Hawaii and it does say Hawaiian Island USA on it. Um, I did pick that up and put it in the cart. And let's go back and see what Marty's up to. Okay, next stop is toys. I looked through these couple of carts here. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to pick from, but then I spot this Angry Birds Thin Ice game. Uh, that looks like it could be pretty good, so I put that in the cart. When I'm looking at these carts, I'm looking for puzzles that are sealed, games that are sealed, because those have the best resale value. When, once I put that into the cart, I hear a noise, and I turn around and I see a new cart come out. So I try to follow the lady. I try to get around her to see what's in the cart, but I just have to wait until she parks it. Two things that I pull off on here, I pull off this uh, uh, Native American basket, and then I pull off a little Delft plate uh, the Native American basket uh, gets stolen by Debbie, so I think she's going to tell you about it later. I work my way over to the wall of the Better Art, and I find a print by Amado Pena. I was able to decipher the signature on this, and this is probably why it was still hanging here. This was a really good deal. These were chips, so I figured somebody got the good ones, and you know these are my favorite. Darn but I kept looking. I found um, <laughs> in Marty's cart. <laughs> Marty actually pulled this one off of one of the new cards and I absolutely love it. It has some age to it. It looks um, like tribal or Southwestern. Definitely put that in my cart. Hi, what you got? Uh, no sign print. Awesome. Yeah, I gotta go get a bigger cart. I don't have enough room. <laughs> yeah, you cut just a small one. Let me see. I picked up this little piece. Um, it is leather. It does look like it has a sterling or a silver plate rim on it. Don't even know what to call it. If you know, let me know in comments below. One of the last sections I look at are the books, and I love looking at the gardening books. The uh, houseplant books sell really well, by the way, but um, I want to get more into herbs and growing my own, so I went ahead and picked this uh, herb book up, and then uh, this book I found, I actually have this one at home. I've had it since the 80s. Um, it's an all-around good book. If anybody's looking for a good gardening book, you may want to take a look for one of those. Okay, I followed him out. He put some clubs in. These cobras. I don't know anything about golf clubs, but it's time to learn, I guess. The store was getting ready to close, so we thought we better hop in line. I think we did pretty good. Let's go ahead and get Marty's opinion. Once again, I think we closed it down. Yes, we did. How do you think we did, honey? I think we did good. We did good. Yeah. We had better days, but we did good. Yeah. New cards came out, but there didn't seem to be much on them at all. So I don't know whether they saved the good ones till in the morning. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, stay tuned. Our thrift haul coming up next.
Now it's time to see how we did. Let's take a look at our totals. The total spent or cost of goods is $47.39. The total estimated list price is $691. It was a great day at the Hartville Thrift. This video is not sponsored, but it is one of my favorite places to go. Today I'm looking for uh, a plant for our bedroom, specifically a low light plant and a snake plant. And I used to have those, my mom did when I was growing up. And it's for our master bedroom. And this bedroom is 75% thrifted. So I'm excited to share that with you. Hopefully the next video, so stay tuned for that. These are the ones that I grew up with. This is um, your snake plant. And it is only $12.99. Decisions, decisions. What do you think, honey? It's green. <laughs> yes, it is. This place is absolutely huge. There's nothing like the sound of a fountain. In another week or so, this will be full of hanging plants, and I can't wait to come back. Hope you enjoyed today's video maybe saw something that you may pick up next time i hope you'll take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button comments and questions are always welcome thank you so much for watching remember the treasures are just waiting to be found until we see you next time marty and debbie